I say, then, that in the year of our Lord 2020, there came the death-dealing pestilence, being sent down upon mankind for our correction. Lo this pestilence had now unhappily spread from the east end, at the coming in of the spring, it began to show forth its dolorous effects. At the beginning of the malady, certain fever showed themselves first on the brow and then in the breath and then spread to every other part of the person. To the cure of these maladies no counsel of physician nor virtue of any medicine availed and this pestilence by communication with those who are sick thereof, got hold upon the air, as a fire upon things. For the mere touching of the clothes appeared to communicate the malady to the toucher, so, to shun and flee from the sick and thus doing, each thought to secure immunity for himself. There, drinking the finest wines they abode, never choosing to hear any news from without of death or sick folk. Others maintain that to carouse and go frolicking and scoff at whatsoever befell, was a very certain remedy. Some abandoned their own beloved city, their own houses, their kinsfolk, and fled to the countryside of others. And the authority of the laws of our city, both human and divine, was all fallen into decay for the governors, were all either dead or sick. The condition of the common people was yet more pitiable to behold, for retained by poverty in their own quarters, sickened by the thousands daily, untended sickened by the thousands daily, untended the condition the condition of the people was yet more pitiable to behold the condition of the common people was yet more pitiable the condition of the common people was yet more pitiable to behold.